Hey there kids, welcome to another math video. This is for Eureka Math Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 8 homework. And so this should be a fairly quick video on this short assignment. Uh, the objective is at the bottom of the page, apply concepts and formulas of volume to design a sculpture using rectangular prisms within given parameters. And so fancy way of saying, I want to make uh, a, a prism, a rectangular prism, or a building, or a structure, but I want to change my dimensions, uh, maybe one thing at a time. So let's look at the directions. Now you should have already completed it. Try your best, and then this video is just to check your work. Um, but uh, the concept is very important. If you want to change the volume that you have, how can you do that? So that's what we're doing here. I have a prism with the dimensions of 6 by 12 by 15 centimeters. Calculate the volume of the prism and then give the dimensions of three different prisms that each have one third of the volume. So uh, first thing is, of course, we're going to recognize that we have our formula that we use to find volume, and it's length times width times height, and I try to put that at the top of every page so that you guys will remember it because you'll have to know this on your tests, state tests, district tests, uh, class tests, all of the tests, and forever. You just need to know that for life. So here we have our 6 times 12, and I love how they give us all this and then no place to work it out, times 15. No easy way to get around it, so we just need to start multiplying. Um, so I'm just going to move this over here. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Our next two, 72 times 15. And set that up any place you have room. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 7 is 35 and 1 is 36. Then we multiply with 1 or it's really 10 because it's in the tens place. Hold that 0 and here we go with 1. 1 times 2, 1 times 7. Add those, we have 0, 8, and 10, so we have 1,080 centimeters cubed. Remember, it's three dimensions. Put a 3 up there for your exponent. Now, here's where things get um, interesting. So if you would like to have a prism that has one-third the volume, the trick here is to only change one number at a time. So we're going to start with our length, leave everything else the same, but choose one third of six. So basically, six divided by three is two. So I would like to use two. You can also think of one third of six, which is essentially what you're doing here, six divided by three. Six thirds, you can cross cancel, you can do all that. It's all the same. It's all six divided by three, either way, if you take a fraction of. So here I have my number in one of the, the dimensions that is a third. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate my um, volume with length times width times height here. So 12 times 2 is 24. And then since we're limited on space, I'm just going to come out here in the margin and do 24 times 15. If they had given us more room, I would write the whole thing out for you. 5 times 4 is 20, and then we have 10 plus 2 is 12, and then hold the 0, and then 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 2 is 2. Add, 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 and we get 360 centimeters cubed. So since this is our strategy to take one dimension at a time, we would have to go back to the original amount for length because now I'm going to change the width. So for this column, it's going to be 12 divided by 3 in order to get my new amount. And then you keep the others the same. And 6 times 4 is 24, so again, I'm going to be looking at the notice that 2 times 12 is 24, and 6 times 4 is 24. So I'm looking at this times 15, and I go, ah, I just did that. I already have the work. I don't need to redo it. Okay. Now for the last one, 
we are going to take one third of 15 or 15 divided by 3 and we get 5 so that one should change here go back to the original 12 not 4 go back to the original 6 because we're only changing one dimension at a time and for this one you can multiply in any order um, you might want to do 6 times 5 is 30 because then if you have 12 times 30 you have a 0 on the bottom and that makes it just a single line 0 here 2 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 1 is 3 they all came out at 360 and I had a student say well what if I just divided 1080 by 3 could I find the volume that way and I said why don't you prove it and so he went ahead and did the long division we got 1 and 18 divided by 3 is 6 and that gives you an even 18 and look we did get 360 so yes you can take your volume and divide it into three pieces but the the challenge here was that we needed to have three different prisms and so the dimensions uh, need to be changed so remember if you want to change the volume of a, of a rectangular prism you only would need to change one dimension at a time in order to increase or decrease your volume for that prism okay take that out of this problem next one uh, Sunny or Sunny I don't know how you would read that but let's call this person Sunny Sunny's bedroom has the dimensions of 11 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet her den has the same height but double the volume give two sets of possible dimensions of the den and the volume of the den so we have to give two sets and the volume so we look at her bedroom and we've got 11 by 10 by 10 so bedroom okay and the den separated out it has the same height so we've got length times width times height and the height is going to be 10 and so give two uh, sets of possible dimensions of the den and the volume of the den so we're really interested in um, we've got this we need to only change one number at a time because the the 10 feet is going to stay the same but I've got my two choices here so what could I have to get my same volume so if I uh, take my 100 and then I have 11 times 1 is 11 feet cubed and so we want to um, we've got the double the volume okay so we know that our volume is 2200 so what are my possibilities so I can double the first one so 11 times 2 is 22 but I would have to keep this the same or I could keep it at 11 and double this one so the possible the two possible dimensions of the den could be with the length doubled but the others the same or keep the length the same double the width and then keep the length and the height the same either way you will end up with the appropriate volume of the den which is double uh, because we're using the parameters they gave us the height and then we're only changing one dimension at a time so that is the quick video for homework that you have today and i hope this is helpful it really is an important concept go ahead and click subscribe you know you want to come back again we'll see you on another video goodbye for now